So we need to find the area of a parallelogram given by, by the coordinates of its vertices. Well, there is good news and there is bad news. The bad news is that we do not have the formula for the area of the parallelogram, but the good news is that we don't, we don't need it. So we're going to be fine without, without it. This problem is good practice to, to plot points on the coordinate system. We have already made the picture. Looks like this. And so a good coordinate system is never a bad idea. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cut this parallelogram apart along these two lines. And then what we have here, a right triangle, we can compute the area of that. Another right triangle, same thing. Actually, it's the same. It's a congruent triangle. And in between, there is a rectangle. So we're just simply going to compute those three areas separately and add them. So let's say this is the first area, second area, and suppose we didn't notice that those are the same, so that's A of 3, the third area. So one side, we can actually read it from the picture that this side is 2 units long and this side is 4 units long. So this is 2, this is 4. So the area of the first triangle, we're just going to use the 1 half base times height. So In case of a right triangle, if one side is one shorter side is the base, the other shorter side is the height. So we're going to have one half times two times four, which is four. So that's the first area. The second area is the area of a rectangle. Well, the vertical side we already found it to be four, and the horizontal side is five units long. So the second area is 4 units times 5 units, 20. The third area, well, this is a congruent triangle, so it's also a right triangle with shorter sides 2 and 4. So it's 1 half times 2 times 4, which is still 4. So the total area is the sum of these three separate areas, which is 4 plus 20 plus 4, which is 28. One more comment before we go. In this particular e example, the picture was very nice. Numbers were small enough for us to plot and then just, just kind of see that it's 4 units long and 2 units long. What if numbers are not that nice? What if numbers are greater and we, don't ha we cannot just glance at the picture and figure out the sides? What do we do then? So here's an example where the numbers are less pleasant and the picture is not that pretty either. So how can we, how can we figure out how long these sides are? Now if you look at A e and D, the X coordinate is the same, which is why it's a vertical line. And then the difference between the y-coordinates, 25 minus 5, is, is the length. Because from 5, we have to climb up to 25, that's 20 units. Suppose we want to find this line segment's length. One thing we should, we should do first is figure out the two coordinates of this point. Let's call this point E. Now the first coordinate, the x coordinate, should be the same as the x coordinate of these two these two points because it's on a vertical line with them. And the second coordinate should be the same as the second coordinate of this point because this is a horizontal line. And given this point, we can easily find all, all the length that we need at this point. For instance, from so th between D and E, 25 is the y coordinate for both. This is why it's horizontal. So the difference between the x coordinates, we have to climb from 20 to 30. So this side is 10 long. And a very similar idea here that 
the x coordinate is 30 for both c and e the difference between the y coordinates is how long this side is and now we have everything we need the rectangle is 20 by 10 and the two right triangles are 7 and 10 the shorter side which is the only thing we need for the area so whether the numbers are nice or not we can always figure out how long these sides are. 